play-by-play -play commentator Jeremiah McBullfrog. And I'm Dan Smith, your <laughs> analyst for the evening. Tonight's broadcast is brought to you by the NRA. Give it your best shot, or best 200 shots. <laughs> for tonight's matchup, we have Mark the Pole God Rockefeller up against Claire the Closed Door Thatcher. Dan, let's take a look at tonight's keys to the game. All right, Jeremiah. So the keys to the game are going to be really, really essential here. So for Mark here, first and foremost, he's got to defend the friend zone. I, for one, have been in the friend zone with my own wife for many years now, and I can tell you, <laughs> it's a dangerous place to be. Now, secondly, this is equally important, don't bring up politics. And now last, but not least, he's really got to start executing on that listening part. You know, Dan, you're right. I'm looking at the statistics, and you know, on his last date with Hadley the Heartbreaker Henderson, Mark only retained about 6% of the information she told him and wasn't delivering nearly enough yes to demonstrate comprehension. You're absolutely right. And I'm thinking, if Mark can bring that up to about a solid 12% tonight, he should be good. Absolutely. For Claire, her keys are to stick to her normal plan. First, offer to pay for her own meal. You know, this is a signature move of hers, and it really puts the man's chivalry on the line. Second, play hard to get. You know, the trick is that in order to show she's very interested in Mark, she must do the exact opposite and show that she's really uninterested and bored by everything Mark says and does. It's kind of like that one second grader that punches the little boy on the playground, but it's only because she likes him. <laughs> Looks like the date is underway as Mark decides to initiate the conversation. So, um, uh, what's your major? I'm double majoring in computer science and political science. Oh, cool. I've got to get started with you all tonight. Well, I will have the cheeseburger, but she's going to have the Caesar salad with a side of corn dogs. Ooh, that is a power move right there, Dan. Somebody did their homework. I mean, he just ordered her meal right then and there. Ooh, that's a bold strategy, Jeremiah. Let's see how it plays out for him. That's exactly what I was going to order. <laughs> wow, Mark is off to a great start. Now the next time is the most critical for Mark. We're going to see how he listens. So I just bought my tickets for the eighth Star Wars movie. Actually, if you include the Clone Wars and Rogue One, it's really the 10th. Hold it! Uh-oh. <laughs> Personal foul, on Mark, mansplain, six-inch penalty. <laughs> Ouch, you know what? That is really gonna cost him, Dan. That is a major penalty. You're absolutely right. When you look at Mark's record, he's only one for five on getting that key second date after being assessed a brutal mansplain penalty. Ouch, well in that case, he's certainly got a lot of ground to make up for. So let's go back to the table and see what happens next. Claire, listen. I, I'm sorry about the mansplaining. I just don't know where it came from, really. All right, it looks like Mark's trying a really interesting play there. He's coming out with the apology, but if you watch that hand, he's clearly up to something. Uh-oh. <laughs> I just... I want you to know that I respect you. And it's, it's not that I don't think you're not smart. It's just... He's moving up the table. Oh, and it looks like it may have daylight, Dan. He's moving forward. He's going past the bread bowl. He's approaching her water. He could go all the... Oh! He is rejected right at the goal line. You know, let's rewind that and take a look at the instant replay, shall we? All right, so I'm going to take a look at the replay with you guys. So if y'all look right here, his hand is moving up. Slowly but surely, you see him cross that bread bowl. But right here, let's look. She takes her hand <laughs> right there, and then she pulls it away. Ouch, let's see what the official has to say about this one. After further review, the ruling on that hand hold, no good. <laughs> Ouch, you know what, that'll just about do it for Mark's chances. Well, looks like it's better luck next time. From College Date Day, I'm Jeremiah McBullfrog. And I'm Dan Smith. We'll see you next time. And enough with the funny stuff. It's Longhorn Late Night!